Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the dynamic membership capability of administrative units. An alternative to doing that static assignment of users or devices into an AU. As always, this is useful. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. So if we think about Azure Active Directory, it is a flat structure. So our organization has a particular Azure AD tenant, then in that tenant, we have various user device group objects. So for example, I'll think about drawing a number of different users that I have in my Azure AD. Now, in addition to the idea of the objects, we have roles. So a role is a set of permissions. So I have various different roles that I have defined in Azure Active Directory. I can also have custom roles, but if I have a particular role, well, I assign that role to a security principle, for example, a user. And for the most part today, because this is a flat structure, if I assign that role to a user, well, the scope is everything in Azure AD. What if I want a more granular assignment? Hey, I want to give this role to a user or set of users, but for a subset of the population. Maybe people in a certain department or in a certain location. Because Azure AD doesn't have the same organizational unit hierarchy that you have in regular Active Directory. There's no concept of that. So what we have is the administrative unit. So I can create multiple AUs. So I can go ahead and create an administrative unit. So I'll call this AU1. And what I could do before is, well, I could add users into that administrative unit. So I would add user one and user two and user three, etc. I could also add groups. Now a key point, if I add a group into an administrative unit, it does not give me that role for the users in the group. It's giving me the role for the group object, but if I want the role for the users in the group, I have to actually put the users into the AU as well. This is very logical, because otherwise, I could really elevate my permissions by, hey, i am got ownership of this group, and I have a certain role on that group, well, I could go and add someone to the group, and then I'd get that role on that person I just added into the group, which would kind of be an elevation of what I should be able to do. So I have to statically assign the users in as well. So if I think about it, this is great. So now I can have a role assigned instead of at the entire Azure AD. Well, the scope could now be at an AU. And once again, I, I take the various objects, and I, I put them into this administrative unit. But this can actually be challenging. If I think about it, what if there's actually a fairly high churn? There's a lot of people that would maybe go into that location, that department, and leave it. So one of the things we have in groups is we have dynamic groups. We can basically create rules that say, hey, based on these user attributes, you're placed into this group. It's a dynamic membership. Well, we can now apply that same capability to dynamic assignment to administrative units. So rather than me having to statically place them inside, I can now, based on attributes of the user or device objects, rules that would add or remove them from the administrative units. So if I think, for example, of an attribute, I might say city, and we'll say, hey, for example, this city is Gotham. It's Batman, and this one is Gotham as well. I could now create a assignment rule for dynamic user to say, hey, instead of me manually assigning people, um, the city equals Gotham. And now as people move in or out of that city based on the attribute in their Azure AD account, they'll get added and removed to that administrative unit. 
That's just one example. It could be department, it could be custom attributes. There's many different things I can do here. But the whole point now is I don't have to be manually assigning users or devices into the administrative unit. I can just create these rules. And remember, I can have multiple AUs and the same object can be in multiple administrative units. This is not a location. It's kind of like a membership to that. So let me actually show you this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to my Azure AD and I went ahead and created an administrative unit. And I created one called Gotham Users. And if we go and look at this, my properties is notice my membership type. I changed it from assigned to dynamic user. But notice there is also a dynamic device option. And if I go and look at my dynamic membership rules, well, it's super simple. My property is if the city equals and it's set to Gotham. And so that actual rule is just user.city equal Gotham. And that's it. Again, you could do far more advanced things. I could base it on custom extension properties. There's a whole set of things I can do, but it's now a rule that defines if I'm in this administrative unit or not. And so what I can see, if I look at my users, well, I've got three users in here, uh, Alfred, Bruce, and Dick Grayson. All of those users, if I was to just look at one of them, in their profile, well, their city is Gotham. But realize I could have done many different types of attributes, many different things to actually drive this. So now I have this administrative unit that as users have their city set to Gotham or they leave Gotham, they'll be added and removed from this administrative unit. And then I can grant roles at this scope, at the administrative unit, instead of all of Azure AD. And what I did is I gave Alfred the help desk administrator role, just on this administrative unit. To actually see how this works, so if we just go out of this for a second, it's super simple, I'm gonna add a new AU, I'll just call this test for speed. I could assign a certain role now, I don't have to, I can do it later on and review and create. Once it's created, I can just go to the properties, change it from assigned to dynamic user. From here, I would add the query. So in my case, I, I chose city, but you could do department. Hey, my department, it could be contains, but I'll say equals, I don't know, JL for Justice League, for example, and save. Hit save. After changing it, yep, it's gonna update the membership, and I'm done. Now you would then wait a little period of time, but then users would start to show up based on that rule to drive the membership. And that's it. That's really all that is required for this. Now it's not instant. I read somewhere in the documentation that it could take up to 30 minutes if you had a very, very large Azure AD for these things to actually update. But the key point is now I've delegated permission to a subset of the objects. And rather than me having to manually put people in the administrative unit or devices in the administrative unit, hey, based on the attribute and those rules I've assigned, they're just gonna get added and removed. And in this case, remember, I assigned Alfred that help desk admin role for this administrative unit. So if I jump over and actually look at Alfred, so this is signed in now as Alfred. If I go to the mystaff.microsoft.com, which is a nice little portal to use for those kind of departmental uh, administrators, notice they only see Gotham users, and then if they dive in and actually look, well, they'll only see those people that they have permissions for. And sure, within this profile, hey, I get this nice option to reset password. But I'm not seeing other users. Now, just to prove I only have those permissions, if I, I can still go to the regular Azure AD. If I go to users and I go to Dick Grayson, 
sure, I can do reset password. And I have that capability as Alfred. But if I went to a different user that wasn't in that administrative unit, let's say Barry Allen, and do reset password, he says, I can't. I don't have the permission. So the great thing now is with these capabilities, I can very granularly give roles to a subset of the population of my Azure AD, and now I don't even have to worry about adding and removing them if I have maybe that higher churn, or I just don't wanna do that at all. I have maybe a very logical structure to my administrative units. I have cities, I have departments, I have local admins for those. Hey, I'll just create an AU for each department, an AU for each location. I'll create the membership rule to say, hey, look at the, the city or the department or whatever attribute you're using for the users or devices to add and remove them. And then just give that local help desk person the role at the scope of the AU instead of all of Azure AD. So that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about, but it's super powerful and it's something that can really help us and, and give that granularity. And remember, I can also, for the devices, there are now custom roles that work with devices, so I could create a scope down role, maybe just reset BitLocker, for example. Uh, I can do those things now as well. So I hope that was useful. Until next video, take care.